The, re the, the reason we've had success is because we don't have a plan B. Our backs are to the wall, and this is it. You know, for some people, for some people, it could be a second line of revenue, and they and they might have another thing that they enjoy more, and this could just be a hobby. But for us, this is a hobby and everything. So. We are on our way to the New York City meetup. Well, I'm on my way. We got Haley in another car. I think she's taking the ferry. It's our videographer. Sebastian is driving in himself. He had to take his daughter to dance class this morning. And then Humble Ted is making an appearance as well. But uh, yeah, so it starts at two o'clock. We're super amped up about it. We got some stuff we're gonna be giving to everybody. It's, it's exciting. This is really officially our first meetup that we're doing. We have a ton of meetups coming in the next couple months. We're doing one in Nashville at the end of January. And then we're doing one in Anaheim, California. And we're doing one in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's exciting. We're excited about it. We're excited to get all meet all of you, you know? we. We see you on Instagram, we see you on Facebook posting stuff, but we don't know much about you. And uh, and yeah, we're excited about it. So, catch you on the flip side. This is the way you're gonna escalate your business. You get uncomfortable, like, Nobody wants to talk to somebody a stranger they don't know and start and start dealing and interacting with them. But through that, you guys learn about each other and you learn how this one's growing their business and the next person's growing theirs. You don't understand how much information Eric and I have learned through the years from other sellers and how much we've provided to other sellers. It's the way you grow your business. And whether you're on Amazon or whether whatever field you're in, that's how you learn. You learn from each other. You know. We appreciate everyone coming out in the snow, so we want to make it worth your while, so. Hey, what's up, man? Welcome. Hey, thanks. How you doing? Eric. Brian. Brian, yeah. pleasure. Nice to meet you. Where are you coming from, Brian? Uh, Bay Ridge. Okay. Some encouragement that it's definitely possible. So seven years ago, Sebastian was in the same place that you're in, right? He was like, I see other people making some money on Amazon. Like maybe he was a waiter at the time. He's like, I don't want to do this the rest of my life. And he just got uncomfortable and started buying some products. And out of his basement in that first year, he did a million dollars or two million dollars in sales in one year. Out of his basement. Exactly. I, I think I, th I think I treat it the same way. Like when it comes to selling, on people think it's like, okay, when do I get the Lambo? I'm not saying everyone, but I do. Some friends. Yeah, some people, people say like, when, 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 yeah. Like, oh, so when I, go this month, yeah, it's like, at six months, will everything work out? And I, I tell them, I'm like, would you go to your professor in the first semester and be like, you know, of a doctor degree and be like, so when can I start surgery? Yeah. It just it doesn't happen that way. It doesn't happen yeah. that way. It takes time, but it was for myself. It was really learning the processes and and I did the same thing I would actually write down at the end of the day kind of what I learned so I saw my 1% progress because otherwise in here I'll tell myself that this isn't worth it uh, I, maybe it's not for me and, and then I might give up on myself but so I would write down my progress and, and read it to myself and see I'm moving forward
importance of having everybody together is because we get a lot of the same questions, right? So like you might have a question that somebody else wants to ask and instead of talking to each person individually, which we love doing, I love talking to all of you and getting to know a little bit about yourself personally and in your business sense, but also it's important because you might have a question that someone else is too scared to ask, right? Because I know I get uncomfortable in crowds sometimes and it's just, it's about getting uncomfortable and growing. So just say, if anybody's got any questions, this is the time to ask them. And if you want to elaborate on anything, shoot, we're an open book. So um, everybody come get one of these. I got a backpack full of them. And then yeah, if we're not going anywhere, I'd say continue to network, get to know each other, exchange information, Instagram handles, phone numbers. The more people you have in this industry, the better it is because I don't have all the answers, you guys don't have all the answers, but collectively as we a do. team, we have all the answers.